You do this with your hand, man. I lied. How's it looking in here? About to remove that thing. All right, let's unbox this thing. Make sure you're grounded. Number one is make sure you're grounded. So, so how do we do that? Uh, you can touch a screwdriver, anything with metal. You just ground yourself. Touch this. Mm -hmm. um, the next thing you want to do is unlock where the GPU is seated. This one takes up two slots. Each one's considered a slot. Yeah. No, this takes up one slot, but it's just large. Okay, take that out. Okay, now what you want to do is you see where it's seated here. If you can look closely, yeah, this right here. You gotta push this down. Okay, that's yeah, it. There we go. That's it. Damn. See, these are just 960. This is yeah, the this clip clamp just to feed it. Kind of the same as this, the RAM. Exactly. It's the same exact thing. Yeah. Okay. Same thing now. When you pull this out of the box, you want to make sure that you're fully grounded because you can, you can uh, short it pretty fast. Yeah. Okay. Exactly the same, right? Yeah, but they're not. Don't worry. Size wise, they, is this a little bigger? No, size wise, they're about the same. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. this, this fan's a little bit bigger. This is probably a 240. 140. Yeah, this is probably 240. I don't know the size of these fans, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the uh, box to see what size of fans are? You want to remove this part over here? Mm -hmm. Usually comes with every GP. Yeah. All right. So first things first, want to make sure that we can seat okay. it correctly. You want to make sure it's aligned to the outside because you don't want to hit the uh, the actual motherboard. Mm -hmm. yeah. Slightly push it into the it's at an angle. Straight in the slot. Oh, it's locking already. Yeah, it is. There we go. Go, fully seated. This eight pin in here. This connects it directly to the power supply. It's fully connected. So we don't need this one. This actual six. No. That's why I hide. Then you want to push this part back over here to make sure you put the screw, the screws in. I'll line it up. Yeah. So we might change this bad boy next, huh? Which one? CPU. Yeah. For sure. Because you're using the uh, default heat sink. All right, we're set. That's it. That's it. You just yeah. plug it in. That's it. Ready to go. So the open heart surgery went well. So I tried to reenact the same clips um, that I used for my GTX 960 test. Uh, to compare the frame rates and I noticed say this clip right here it is now between 55 to 65 so it went up about 15 frame rates from the 960 to 1060 on this clip so all settings the same um, this one went up actually about 30 frame rates this one is still 100 plus but I did notice it go up to about 130 at one point and here I'm just showing that I'm running the same settings as I had on the video I did for the GTX 960. So on this clip, it went up about 10 frame rates over the previous clip on the GTX 960. 
I'd like to give a special thanks to my friend Manny for helping me with this install. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.